Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which helps us in finding largest number less than or equal to n in a binary search tree. First, let us take an example. We follow recursive approach for solving this problem. We start searching for element from the root node. If we reach a leaf and its value is greater than n, element does not exist so we return minus 1. Else, if node's value is less than or equal to n and write value is null or greater than n, then return the node value as it will be the answer. Otherwise, if node's value is greater than n, then search for the element in the left subtree, else search for the element in the right subtree by calling the same function by passing the left or right values accordingly. <coughs> Let us take key as 4. So, we pass 5 which is the root and 4 to n in the find max for n function. We check if root is a leaf node. As it is false, we check if node's value is less than n and write value is null or greater than then return the node value. As it is false, we go to the third if and check if root's key is greater than or equal to n. Since it is true, we call for the left child of 5 which is 2 using a call stack. Now again as 2 is not a leaf node, we check if node's value is less than n. Since it is true but root's right is not null, the first part of if statement is not satisfied. Also as root's right key which is 3 not greater than n, the second part of if condition is also not satisfied and we go to the third if statement. Now as root's key is not greater than n, we go to the else part and call for the right child of 2 which is 3. Now 3 is a leaf node but 3 is not greater than 4. So the first if statement is not satisfied. The second if statement is satisfied as 3 is less than 4 and 3's right is null. Hence we return 3 which is the output. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of H complexity, where H is the height of the binary search tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.